Hi everyone, welcome back on my channel. My name is Charlotte and if you follow me on Instagram, you might have seen that I posted a picture of a Taiwanese restaurant in Belgium that I went to together with my friend Elina. You might remember Elina uh, because we made videos together when she visited me in uh, Taiwan. We made a video in Tamshui and in Jiufen. So, I actually have to thank Elina for finding this restaurant because I had never heard of it. I think the name was Timor and Joy and it was in our uh, city where we both studied, Leuven. But when I was still studying there, I'm pretty sure it wasn't there yet. So maybe that's why I never heard about it. But uh, yeah, we decided to go because we were both craving for Taiwanese food for a long time already. So when we went there, we saw the menu. And there were so, so, so many things we wanted to try. I mean, there were like dumplings, uh, many kind of fried things and so many things I wanted to try. But then when we went to take the order, <laughs> the uh, person working there had to inform us that not everything was available because here in Belgium, we went under lockdown and many restaurants had to close down and now they recently reopened but they're doing it in a few steps, I think, and not everything on the menu was there yet. So luckily there were still enough things that we could try. And most importantly, they had the milk tea, brown sugar milk tea. <laughs> that was definitely something that I was craving so hard for so long. So, oh my God, I would have died if they told me that they didn't have that. So <laughs> they had that and I had the fried mushrooms. They were super nice and juicy and there was very nice spices on it. And Elina had the fried popcorn chicken. So um, yeah, when we went there, uh, the owners were also super, super nice. They explained a little bit about um, some of their products. They also told us that, I mean, at least the man working there, he was from Southern Taiwan and yeah, he was super, super friendly. He even let us try some toasts with um, something that is apparently famous in Taiwan, but I haven't tried it in Taiwan yet. It was some kind of toast with um, condensed milk cream. And there was also another one with condensed milk cream with peanut butter or something. It was super, super delicious. So yeah, that was so nice that he let us try that. I wonder if he gave us that for free just because um, he felt a little bit bad that the whole menu wasn't available yet and we were coming there like saying, oh, we want to try this and this and this. <laughs> and he had to say like, oh, sorry, there's only like this. <laughs> but anyway, it was super nice. They were very friendly. And yeah, I'm just gonna show you the restaurant inside. You know, one funny way to know that this cafe was really Taiwanese style was that when you come in, you can immediately find the Wi-Fi password. <laughs> because here in Belgium, not all cafes offer Wi-Fi. It's very often that you can see that there is a Wi-Fi in the cafe, but when you ask for the password, they're like, oh, sorry, you can't use that. That's only for staff. And you're like, okay then. <laughs> but here you come in and right on the counter, you have the Wi-Fi password. So I felt like, ha, ah, I'm coming home. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
As you can probably see from this video, Elina and me had a great time there. We filled our bellies with so many delicious food and especially the brown sugar milk tea was very good. It's like exactly like I remember uh, the taste from Taiwan. So I think they did it very, very well. And I'm sure Elina and me will be back there because all the things we still need to try there, we couldn't try this time. So <laughs> I'm sure you'll see us back there soon to try other foods. Thank you so much for watching. If you stayed until the end, um, use the passwords mushroom. If you write mushrooms in the comments down below, I know you stayed until the end and you are awesome. <laughs> see you soon and don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye bye.